guys, I'm Kristen and you're watching Perfect Fitness TV. So today we have five advanced stretches um, to improve your flexibility. So if you are quite flexible and feel that you want to try these advanced stretches, this is a great, great um, routine for you. Otherwise, check out the workout for uh, stretches for beginners, okay? So from here, on your mat, all you need is a mat, you're going to start in a downward dog. So you just push your hips up to, your, up to the ceiling. What you want to do is draw your shoulder blades down your back. So we'll be going down towards your hips or up towards the ceiling, however you want to think about it. Now what you want to try to do is press your heels down so you get a nice stretch through the back of the legs. Keep pressing your hips up to the ceiling. Nice long back. Drawing your navel in. You want to hold this for about 10 breaths as long as you sort of can. And then from there you can walk your hands in towards your feet. Hang here. And if you can, take your hands behind your lower back and stretch them up to the ceiling, releasing the front of the shoulders while you stretch still through the back of the legs. You just hold that there. Take a nice deep breath in. And release. Breathe in. And release. Your arms all the way down. You can just come right back down to the mat. You're going to step one foot forward. So we're going to go into a hip flexor stretch. So when you do this, you want to drop your hips down. Tuck your tailbone under. Now you can do a few other stretches while you're here. You can take a shoulder stretch. You can take a tricep stretch. Or you can even take a side stretch, okay? So that's up to you. Kind of decide whatever you need to do. But keep pressing that hip forward, okay? This is really the prime stretch of what you want to do. And then you can step it back and into the other one. Drop those hips right under. Breathe in here. Make sure you're on like the fleshy part of the knee, not right on the knee joint because that could hurt a little bit. Make sure you're on a soft mat. Once again, you can take a shoulder stretch or a tricep stretch or a side bend, whatever you feel that you need to do or take all three. If you have plenty of time, take all three, yeah? One of my favorites. That feels really good. If you have really tight hip flexors, this is key, okay? You really want to stretch these out. Now from here, we're going to try to take the splits, okay? So I know this is something a lot of people always want to be able to do. So if you are, have a dance background, a gymnastic background, um, this might be a normal stretch for you, okay? So what you want to start doing, if you are advanced but not there yet, is just sort of get yourself into the position and hold your arms, use your own strength and your upper body to hover here. You just hover and then gradually you will sit down into the splits, but you don't want to force it. I mean, muscles are like a rubber band, okay? You don't want to push right down to 100% because you'll just snap. If you go to 80%, you'll gradually, gradually, gradually will lengthen your muscles, okay? So, from there, if you're quite close, just hover. Otherwise, you can just rest down. You can flex forward over your foot, bending forward from your hips. And then come back up. You can just change right over to the other side, okay? Like I said, you can feel free to just start to hover. Try to square your hips up. If I have my hips totally square, I'll hover. If I want to turn my one hip out a little bit, I can sit right down into the splits. So you want to find what works best for you. And then if you feel comfortable, you can flex forward and get a nice deeper stretch in the front leg. Make sure you take deep breaths. Feel like as when you take your breath, you direct the breath right into the muscle that you're stretching. That always really works for me. If you um, like to use imagery when you stretch, that really helps. And then what you're going to do lastly is take a forward stretch from here. Walk your hands forward. And you're just going to release here, letting your inner thighs, your adductors, just stretch out. So if you can, you can just lie down that little... Sneeze. Otherwise, you might be up here to start. That's fine. If you're quite advanced and this is tight, then you hold it here. And then you can gradually, gradually, gradually walk your hands out. If you are um, a dancer from here, sometimes in dance classes, you'll do a roll through. 
Um, a roll through would look like this, but I'm going to say this before I do it, if you are stretching with me right now, that um, you want to be very confident that you are loose enough in your hips, hip sockets to do this, but the roll through would just look like this, and you roll through, you bend your knees, and you can hover here, okay? And you can come back out and roll back through, okay? So that, that one is for more advanced people. If you are really flexible and trust that you can do that, great. Otherwise, you know, I would skip that one, just, just reach forward, okay? So that one, I'd only recommend to people who are very flexible, skilled athletes, dancers, gymnasts. Otherwise, most people don't really need to do that, okay? So, um, but it's just a bit of fun. You might have a party trick all of a sudden. So, if you are really flexible. So I hope you've enjoyed these stretches. Make sure you always stretch after all your workouts. Um, it's really good to maintain flexibility. And um, that's it. If this was too difficult for you, check out the more beginner workout. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for your weekly workouts, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And be sure to like us on Facebook so that way you can get your daily health and fitness tips. Thanks for watching. I'm Kristen. You're watching Perfect Fitness TV.